Yo, 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 this your boy, Young Breezy. Back at you again, man, with another video, man. Let's get into this, uh, this guy named Nate Wright, man. This guy, he's known to say some of the most craziest shit I ever heard in my life, man, when it comes down to LeBron James, man, this man here. There's nothing he would not do, or uh, there's nothing he would not say. Um, uh, I don't think this man ever said a negative word about LeBron James, man. Uh, there's no way this guy isn't uh, uh, affiliated with the Clutch Sports brand, man. He, 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 some kind of way, maybe he's a, a, a legal assistant. Maybe he's a, a financial guy. Maybe he's an intern. This, this guy, some kind of way, man, he, he's involved with Clutch Sports, man, in my opinion, man. Uh, 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 allegedly. Uh, because this is this, this is the biggest him and him and Shannon Sharp man. I, I don't know which one of these guys are the worst. Uh, I believe I believe they are trying to. I believe they are competing against each other to see who's the um, number one LeBron James fan in America. Uh, the the president of the fanboy club. These uh, uh, Nick Wright and Shannon Sharp, man, they're 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 about neck and neck, man, in, in my estimation. I ran across I ran across this clip, man. Uh, uh, Y'all know how he does all those pyramids of all the players and how he ranks them on each pyramid. Uh, uh, now he got a chart, a pie chart out, uh, uh, describing which team with the highest with which, with the highest percentage uh, of winning the championship this year going to the NBA finals and winning it all uh, at the beginning of the season man this guy I, I don't think this guy had the Lakers nowhere in there in, in their conversation for at winning the championship because uh, they all they, you know everybody was putting the blame on Russell Westbrook uh, he's going to be the fall guy uh, the reason why the Lakers are not going anywhere uh, one time it was Patrick Beverly too if I'm not mistaken both of those guys are gone now um, on separate teams. Uh, uh, Russell Westbrook with the Clippers and Patrick Beverly, he's home. We, he with the Bulls, so he, he, he's home. Um, so this guy, he's going to rank the team on his pie chart. And which team from the, uh, with the lowest percentage to the best percentage. And as you can see, this guy, uh, he has Memphis Grizzly at 1%. The Knicks at 2%. Cavaliers at 2%. Heat at 3%. Clippers at 6%. The Clippers at 6%. They have, they've been the, they, and they have been the Lakers 11 times straight. They're 1-0, just like the Lakers are in the first round of the playoffs. Some kind of way, they're all the way down at 6%. The, the uh, Denver Nuggets at 8%. The Kings at 8%. The Phoenix Suns at 10%. Milwaukee Bucks, the team that Vegas picked to win it all, Yoga, uh, uh, Giannis is not out of the playoffs. More likely, he's gonna be playing uh, tomorrow night. Uh, no, is it? It's I think it's tomorrow night. Yes. Uh, all likely, he's gonna be playing. He got this, the Boston Celtics at fourteen percent. That's the second team they picked. Vegas picked to win it all. And he got the, the Phoenix Suns at ten. Okay, he got a fourteen percent. He also got the 76ers and uh, I'm not gonna even let you guys guess at who, at who, at who uh, uh, about who he thinks is gonna win it all. I'm just gonna let you guys listen, listen to this clown for yourself. But Embiid to me is a man on a mission. They are healthy right now with Harden being the looming question mark. And that leaves just one large slice I of mean, the pie. This is... And for the first time all year, 20%. the favorites are the Los Are Angeles surprised? Lakers. They're officially the favorites. Brew, you could not have scripted the open of the playoffs better. What would the Lakers like? Well, for the... After one game in the NBA playoffs, after one game, I don't think he's got to give the Lakers a chance this year. But after the play-in game, we, we, well, we know uh, how they got there with some help from the league. Uh... After one game in the playoffs, this guy got the Lakers. Uh, uh, I think the Lakers are winning it all. After one measly game in the playoffs, man, one measly game in the playoffs, 
This guy, uh, 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 after beating the Grizzlies, was dropping Morant, got hurt, hurt his hand. Austin Reeves and uh, uh, Hachimura having to, I believe both of them guys had the best game of their of their career. I think we are, I think since being with the Lakers, I think Hachimura, Hachimura, this this was his best game after being with the Lakers. I think Austin Reeves had like a thirty some point game. So, but they don't come that often because the guys don't average but like 13, 14 points a game. So those two guys had great, good, 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 good games. And LeBron James had to sit back they, because they didn't need LeBron James. And after one game, this guy has uh, uh, already said the Lakers going to win it all. Man, you can't make this up with this guy, man. You can't make this up with this this guy right here, man. This guy here, uh, he is something else. Warriors, who some people believe in, look shaky. For the Suns to all of a sudden look shaky. For the Lakers to ease their way into a game with LeBron James just kind of surveying things and run away with it with Rui Hachimura and Austin Reeves playing with more confidence than ever and Anthony Davis looking like the defensive player of the year against the defensive player of the year. Western Conference wide open for the taking. The Lakers gobble up that 20% piece of title pie brew. A look. 20% of the pie. 20% of the pie. They leapfrog the whole top five team that was going to uh that was expected to win the uh NBA finals after one game. After one game. After one game. This, 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 this is why we, I hate about these guys, man, with LeBron James, man. This is why this is why so many people hate LeBron James. Because people like this guy. They said some of the most stupidest shit I ever heard in my life. In my life. In my life, man. And, and, and there's no way people can get on TV and say some of the things that they say about LeBron James, man. With, with, something going on, man. Something's going on. Something's going on, man. Because cause this, you, you, you just don't find people that say stupid shit like this on TV. I, I'm telling you, man. This is why people hate LeBron James, man, because a guy like this right here, man. This guy right here in Shannon Sharp, this is why people hate LeBron James, man, because he's way overrated, man. It don't make no sense, man. Le- LeBron James is a good, uh, is a great player. But but these guys, man, oh my. Look, man. If you want to make the Lakers a favorite, fine. Yeah. I, I, in a wide open West yeah. that does look a little more vulnerable now. Yeah. Here's the problem, though. Uh huh. And I want to ask you this: uh-huh. Did the, would the Lakers rather face Phoenix or the Clippers in the conference finals? I would rather play the Clippers. I can't speak for the Lakers, but I think you since would. Like 1996. There we go again. See, see, see. You would rather play the Clippers than to play Phoenix Suns. You've lost, you lost 11 games straight against the Clippers. Tyron Lue owns LeBron James. He owns the man. He, own, he literally owns LeBron James. And you're going to sit down here and say that you'd rather play the Clippers than to play the Phoenix Suns? With, with they have a deeper team than the Phoenix Suns? Their bench is a whole lot deeper? And deeper than the Lakers bench too, and I, as I might add in, and Paul George should be back by then if they uh, are in, within the next round, or uh, 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 not the next round, but the conference championship game with a healthy Clippers team, Kawhi, Paul George, and those guys. This man just uttered the most ridiculous thing. Man, come on, man. This man is. See, I know what he's doing. See, I know, I know what he's doing. I know what he's doing. I know exactly what he's doing. So he thinking the Clippers gonna. He thinking the Phoenix Suns are gonna beat the Clippers. See, this is what he's doing. He he he, he trying to act like uh, uh, LeBron James is ducking KD. He knows Phoenix Suns are a weaker team, and, and he kind of see that it's going it lean toward the Clippers uh, uh, beating the Phoenix Suns. That's what he thinking. He thinking the Clippers are gonna beat the Phoenix Suns. So he trying to head this, he trying to he trying to trick everybody like he want to play the Clippers because the Clippers right now are looking good, but this, but it's just one game, just one game. Man, this guy, man, hey, boy, they, they, they the LeBron James stands, man, get on my nerves.
Right. Okay, I but guess. I don't. They also eleven straight. They, healthy Kawhi, healthy Paul George. I well, we're you, we big, hope they got size. Yeah, too. I don't. I don't deal with trust. AD. I think the, what made Russ great for the beginning of that game against the Lakers when they played oh, two weeks ago would be bad for him in a seven-game series. I would rather play the Clippers. I'm not sure what the Lakers would rather. I mean, no. Really? The, the, the way Russ played in the first game, which was great, would be bad for him in a seven-game series? So you trying to say Russ? You trying to, so you trying to say Russell Westbrook is just a one game, once in a lifetime chance that he'll uh, play good against the Lakers again? Man, this a man. Look, and y'all believe and y'all and y'all believe this guy. Y'all, with LeBron James fanboys, believe this guy right here. Y'all, y'all believe in this the media, this guy right here, because I, 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 man, look, he might be worse than Shannon Sharp. I don't know. I don't know, but they're neck and neck. He might be worse than Shannon Sharp. Travel, I guess that could be good for an older team. I think they would rather play the Clippers than the Suns. That would be interesting. Man, this man right here, man, I tell you the truth, boy. Hey, hey, hey man. These guys, man, with they, these, these guys have no limit, man, when it comes to LeBron James, man. It's sad, man. But uh, take, take what y'all want to take from that right there, man. Uh, hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Share the video. Subscribe. Like. Share. Uh, uh, man, this A. Hey, the LeBron James fans stand fanboys, man. They, they, these guys are ridiculous, man. It's your boy Breezy, man. Until next time, I'm out. I, I can't take no more of this, man. Not today.